How's it going, people? Sam Slabber here, and this is your full run guide for the Damon High Medium Task Set. This is quite a troublesome task set, so let's get started. Crash requirements? None. Item wise, you will need either a coal bag, gem bag, bone crusher, herbicide, or charm and imp. Any of those will work. Skill wise, you need 45 divination, 43 fraction, 40 thieving, 40 hunter, 40 farming, 36 herb lore, 35 dungeon ewing, 32 magic, 30 attack, and 30 range. So, yeah, quite a bit. Uh, this task set will require you to run through dungeons multiple times as some of them are kind of obscure to get. The first one and the easiest of the lot is complete a furnished C6 solo. I'd recommend probably doing this on medium first so you can get a lot of the tasks out of the way. And you're more likely to have puzzle doors and high skill level doors that you can't actually do which are needed for the quest, a task even. So, I would recommend jumping in any furnished C6, and personally I'd recommend doing a medium first just to get the vast majority of them out of the way. If you have your Aura 1, you can actually choose your boss, and I would highly recommend choosing Ramanaut as he is required for one of the tasks. So, straight away you carry on doing your dungeon as if you would normally would. There's a few things to keep an eye out for, and that is a chest which you can thieve from, as you need to steal from a level 40 plus chest. Also herbs and the secondaries for any mage potion, tier 2 and above, which is Winter's Grasp, as well as Wormweed, and the secondaries for both of those is Void Dust. So, once you finally manage to luck out and come across a chest, hope there is a 40 plus, and if it is, you'll have a task complete. So I'll carry on speeding up until I manage to finally hit the next one. Yeah, honestly, these tasks are kind of troublesome. There's no easy way to put this into a guide for you. So I'll try to put them in an order which you're likely to get. You can take energy whilst you're going through and whilst you're going through your medium dungeon it's best to collect every single item and sell it to make some cash as you will be needing a few things so this is the making a potion part you'll either need wormwood or winter's grass depending on your herb lore level as well as void dust for the secondary and the idea here is you need to make at least a one tier two plus magic potion and then drink it and it has to be made from scratch so you must have the seed either from enemy drops or buying it so grow yourself some herbs and then go ahead and fill a pot make your magic potion and neck it as soon as you do you'll have another task complete moving on to the next one Buy or cut a spine beam log and then fletch it into a trap and place it in the ground. It's pretty easy this one. Uh, the spine beam doesn't cost a lot and you typically run across them now and then. It's about 7k. You can normally get that just by entering a dungeon. So that is pretty rapid. All you need to do is make a, a trap and then just place it on the ground. It is that simple. So now that you've done that and you've got another task done, let's move on to the next one. So next up, you need to gate teleport out of a boss fight. Uh, you need the actual normal gate telly, not a group gate. So you need to make your group uh, gate stone yourself, as well as teleport out. Simply place your gate stone anywhere else in the dungeon, and whilst you're in the middle of fighting the boss, just go ahead and gate telly. Soon as you do, you'll have a task complete. This 
simple as that. So, moving on to the next one. So for this one, you need to be outside of Dungeon Ewan and have one of these or multiples of these items with you. The easiest one is the Bone Crusher because you simply need to kill something for the effect to activate. Herbicide, exactly the same thing except for they need to be able to drop herbs for it to work. If you can only access the coal bag or the gem bag, then you simply either need to mine some coal, place it inside, take it out, and the same deal with gems. And with the Charming Imp, you simply need to kill something and receive a charm. As long as the effects are made use of, as soon as they are, that'll be another task complete for you. So, let's quickly move on to the next one. You need to solo a Complexity 6 with, well, within 6 minutes. So any C6 small will actually get this one done for you. So, it's straightforward pretty much, it's just rushing at C6. If you're struggling with this, then you could always get, uh, basically try and skip the ones with puzzle doors and things like that, and just literally break your way towards the boss, and hopefully you'll get it. As you see, my one was relatively easy, straightforward. As soon as you're done, that is another task complete. So moving on, hopefully you had Ramonaut picked when you did your first dungeon. And basically before you go in, it's best to prepare yourself as you need to kill him without getting charged or alternatively make him stun himself. So killing him without getting charged is fairly straightforward. With Mage you can kind of hold him in place with your f first stun ability as well as Asphyxiate because they both hold him down. And the other one is, if he does charge at you, then simply run around the room until he falls over. Simple. You should be able to do that relatively easily. If you happen to fail it, just repeat the dungeon level and do it on a C6 instead. Hell, you can do it on a C1 if you want. So moving on to the last five. These ones are a bit more troublesome and a lot harder to get footage for because it does depend on random chance. So, one is to make and use a portent of passage five or above. So for this, you simply need to make a portent of passage and hopefully come across a door that requires a skill level that you don't have. Pretty much. The next one is get the beast mode title. I've found no concrete way of doing this. All I know is that you need to gather every single resource on the way to the boss. As far as I know, that is how you get the Beast Mode title, though I've done it three times already and I still have yet to get the Beast Mode title, so any information I'd happily take. Next is handing 20 items in Sinkhole's minigame. Uh, a couple of people have said you need to be handing in exactly 20 items. Others saying you can hand in small amounts just as long as it hits 20 items, and others saying they've chucked in more than 20 items and it's worked perfectly fine. And then you've got people on the other side saying then none of those are working for them, so yeah. Not really sure the concrete of how you're meant to do that. Next is Sacrifice Frost Dragon Bones at a prayer altar within Dungeon Eren. The only way to come across Frost uh, Dragons is on the ice floors. So you need to repeat the ice floors over and over again until you finally luck out and get yourself a Frost Dragon. Your best bet is to probably grab a group of people and simply run through a large dungeon or something along those lines or get them to help open a large dungeon for you. That is probably the easiest way you're going to get it. And finally, last but not least, is you must complete Three's a Crowd Fremenic Saga 100% completion. Which honestly isn't all that hard, but for those of you who want a guide, I'll hopefully be able to get the Fremenic Saga guides up soon as they are needed for the other Dungeon Human tasks as well. So hopefully I can have the 100% completion of Fremi Saga full guides soon. Perhaps in the next couple of days maybe. We'll have to see how it goes. And that's pretty much it. So the problem children you're going to have in the medium task is beast mode. I still am yet to get it. Uh, hand in 20 items within sinkholes. 
Yeah, that should be fixed, I would have thought, soon enough. And the Sacrifice Frost Dragon Bones. That is going to be the most annoying one to get, I would have thought. As I have actually never seen a Frost Dragon within Dungeon Ewan. So there we go. That is the full medium task set guide. Pretty straightforward. A lot of easy ones and a few completely random chance ones. So yeah, there we go people. So with that said, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you've now all completed your medium tasks. And I hope you found this guide useful. So until next time people, I will catch you all later. Have a good one.